We've been working for 10 years on in situ reprogramming nanodrugs and uh, for Touch spun out a company, the company was acquired. So people in the lab ask me, what do you want to work on next? And it's quite challenging to reinvent yourself all the time and come up with new inventions. And I think I didn't sleep well that night. I had a meeting scheduled for 10 o'clock in the morning with people in the lab. I promised I would tell them what to work on next. And it was eight o'clock in the morning and I still haven't come up with a decent idea. And so I was standing there in the bathroom shaving and I looked at the shaving foam and it was actually a great, it's a great product when you look at it. So I brought the shaving foam to the lab meeting and I was sitting there spraying that foam onto my hand. And I said, let's develop foam product for gene medicines, um, trying to optimize it, making it biocompatible. And that's how the whole story started. You can read uh, news articles every week. There are new genes that have been discovered that can slow down tumor growth, uh, that can make tumors uh, stop growing and without harming healthy tissues. But when you think about real cancer applications, most patients don't really see the benefit of these new discoveries. And so that's where the foam comes into play. So it's almost like a lazy river in a water park. Think about you floating inside of the foam between those air bubbles. And so for gene medicine, it's great because you can start with a very expensive gene therapy drug that is very hard to manufacture and it's very costly. And then you just embed it in this gene therapy foam, you blow air bubbles in it and you concentrate it 10 times. You increase the volume 10 times. And so that means now you can fill up large body cavities or you can coat large surfaces with really tiny amounts of expensive gene therapy drug. What I'm trying to accomplish is that we introduce gene medicines into the clinic and make it broadly accessible. It should be on everybody's mind when they get diagnosed with cancer. It shouldn't just be chemotherapy, radiation and surgery. But I hope in the future that people will also think about gene therapy because we're providing the tools to accomplish this.